Good evening, everyone. Thank you for the opportunity. Let me make sure I have everything working correctly. Excellent. Do me a favor and just let me know if you can hear me okay. And I want to thank you for taking the time to meet tonight. Uh, this is John Ruman, and tonight we are discussing one of the big challenges people have in sales. So give me one second here, please which is to stop selling over the phone. And if any of you have ever been in sales or have ever had the challenge that other people try to do when they try to sell over the phone, you know it's a major sticking point. And it should be because people are always trying to get the sale done before they actually get to know you. And let me tell you why that's such a major failing for pretty much everyone, unless your job is to sell over the phone. So here's the thing. Sales is a relationship business. And in order for you to be in the relationship business, you must create a relationship. This is not you trying to build a relationship with someone that you literally just talked to 10 minutes ago and now you're trying to have a dialogue with someone that you don't know. And, and there's an emotional journey that everyone goes through whenever they come and see you. And that journey is called know, like, and trust. So let me tell you what happens is before they will ever buy a single thing from you, they will always find out who you are. Do they trust you? Do you have experience? Are you someone of integrity? Are you someone they can actually like? And until that happens, they're not going to give you any of their money. So you need to come to a immediate realization that selling over the phone is a total failure. Your intention on every single sales call should be with a quick and efficient manner, obviously letting them know the person who you are, respecting their time. You should be setting an appointment. And when you begin to get this mindset of my job today is to help you to see that I need to sit down with you and I'll give you enough credibility so you know that what I have to offer is of value, but not to the level of where I'm selling. So because wh why sell? I don't even know you, what problems you have or how you need me. And until you actually physically meet with someone, they're not going to know and you're not going to know if you're a good fit. So stop selling on the phone and begin making the transition to where your phone calls are quick, they're efficient, they are impactful, they get the meeting set, they're a quality communication, and they use something called tonality, which is something we teach in our course. And what tonality does is it helps the person to not only understand every word you say, but actually create a natural comfort from them to you when you actually are on the phone with them. So what's going to happen is they're going to feel more naturally comfortable with you because you're using tonality. So tonality is a major part of successful sales. And the sooner you get good at it and the sooner you begin practicing exactly what you're saying and scripting exactly what you're saying, the higher the success rate for setting the meeting and the higher the success rate for when you meet the person, their perspective of you is much different because so many people sell over the phone and no one loves to be sold. One of Roger's favorite lines, and I love it, is people hate to be sold, but they love to buy. So if you create a buying atmosphere where you're able to provide value and be the answer to that person needs, then the sale happens. And again, it's a relationship game. So if you're unable to talk with the person, if you're unable to have enough time with them such that you can actually 
get enough time even to get the appointment set. That's okay. Find out when a good time is for them, and then you need to recommit with them. So, again, long story short, don't sell. Have the meeting be entirely about setting the meeting and having that be the intention in a clear and succinct manner. You will be respected. Sales only happen face-to-face, and you won't feel like a salesperson because you're not. You're a problem solver. So with that, um, we actually do have a course starting on the 6th of June, the six-part course on six six uh, steps to sales mastery. One of the modules is entirely a role-playing where we teach you the script. We actually teach you tonality, which is where something may be quiet and then it has more impact or whatever. And by adjusting how you speak, you draw the people in. So we'll teach you tonality and we'll actually have you role play with others. They'll have their phone, you have your phone, and we'll literally go back and forth over the three hours helping those to role play calls. And by the time you're done, you'll be much more confident. And again, the entire course is a drill and rehearse, but Again, the primary premise of this live is to reinforce within you, stop selling whatever it is you sell over the phone. Create the appointment, have that time be set just for you and that person so that you can offer them what you they need. And again, in a future live, I'll go over the actual meeting more in depth, but the intention of the meeting is to eventually have a sale happen, but never the call. So please stop doing that. You give sales people a bad name, (laughs) but um, I wish you all the best. I wish you all the best in your future success, and I hope you have an amazing night. Thank you for participating.